studio. Here's your host, Dustin Jones. Thank you, thank you. What a great day to be alive. Today we have a very special guest, an up-and-coming musical artist and a close friend of mine, as well as a guy who knows his hot sauce, Joel Cross. Thanks for being on the show, Joel. Thanks for having me. Now, some of our audience has had the privilege of hearing you play. For those who don't know who you are yet, could you tell us what you do? Um, I'm a jazz guitarist. That's a good way to put it. Well, thanks, Joel. I was informed that you had the wonderful opportunity to work with our producer for the show, and y'all put together an exclusive interview just for our viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, Joel Cross. I was born and raised in Cleveland, Texas. Um, it's just south of Fort Worth, not too far from here. Uh, my folks moved out that way from New Orleans just a few months before I was born. So I find my roots in New Orleans, but I'm from Cleveland, Texas. I got started playing the guitar uh, around the time I was 12 years old. I remember prior to this, I had never I just wanted to avoid learning to play because I knew I'd end up having to play in church and all that. And I just wanted to be at home, chilling, relaxing. And um, at 12 years old, I heard my dad play the guitar. And uh, it was just, after that, I, I knew this is what I wanted to do. That was it. It just sparked my curiosity, sparked my passion. As far as the music I like the most, it would have to be jazz. Um, try to check out everything, you know, and pull from different things. I um, still love funk, classical music. I love Earth, Wind & Fire, you know, Stevie Wonder, but for me it's jazz. Um, I love that, you know, it, it always gives me something more. love a bunch of different musical artists. Um, right now, if I had to pick the one I love the most, it would have to be Esperanza Spalding. She's just an amazing talent. Um, she's been, like, literally teaching at the Berkeley College of Music since she was 20 years old. She was just really talented, um, graduated high school early, maybe homeschooled, something like that. Went to school playing, and um, they were like, you're really awesome, we need, we need a bass instructor. And so they hired her right after she graduated to teach at the college. Who am I? I think that's a, a question that's, that's gonna plague me for the rest of my life, trying to figure that out. But if I had to kind of sum it up, I would, uh, I would first, like to say um, I'm a godly man, or I try to be um, Christian by faith, um, one who thinks deep about himself and the person, um, who he is right now and the person he should be. I like staying in that mode, but I also have a real chill part of me that just likes to be an idiot sometimes, you know, just like joke around and say dumb things that make no sense. I got my degree from the University of North Texas in jazz studies, um, the specification in jazz guitar performance and the minor music theory. Um, I perform all over the place. I mean, in Denton, you know, sometimes at the greenhouse. Of course, a lot at the school when I was in school. Um, right now, I have a steady gig I do every Friday night at Oakmont Country Club. We kind of background music for um, the people while they're eating dinner. Also play a lot at the Scat Jazz Lounge, uh, Tashiana Mayfield Quintet. Um, also play with Eric Scorsia jazz organ player, um, but just anywhere I can, man, with whoever I can. My goals musically is to be able to perform for the biggest audience, and hopefully that's a large, 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 large number, to be able to perform my own music to the best of my ability and to um, maximize that potential. I think my goal, end goal, would be able to play my own music and make a living doing that be able to support your family, yourself, by living and breathing your passion. So you truly have a passion for music. Definitely. Well, we're running short on time, and I know this is what everybody's been waiting for. Joel, do you have a favorite song? I do, it's uh, Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. Wow, well we'd be honored if you played that song as we close the program. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Joel Cross. Mm -hmm. 